Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Friday, November 15th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with All Elite Wrestling News. AEW has canceled the Collision Television taping originally scheduled for Saturday, December 7th at the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. Instead, according to an official announcement yesterday, Collision will still be held in Columbus on that date, but instead will be presented at the Greater Columbus Convention Center as part of the science fiction and comic book convention known as GalaxyCon. Tickets for the GalaxyCon Collision were scheduled to go on sale tomorrow with all those who bought tickets for the original booking at Nationwide Arena being provided with refunds. In ratings news, Wednesday's episode of AEW Dynamite brought in a TV viewership of 666,000 to TBS, according to Russellnomics. That's up from last week's audience of 523,000. The 18-49 year old demographic rating was a .22, a significant increase from last week's .16 rating. Last week's episode of Dynamite ran head-to-head against NXT on the CW. TNA Wrestling presented Impact last night on Access TV, featuring matches taped last Friday in Fayetteville, North Carolina. In the main event, TNA World Champion Nick Nemeth was in action, beating Brian Myers in a non-title match. After the match, Nemeth was attacked by the system until Joe Hendry made the save. Also on the show, the Northern Armory defeated Steve Macklin, Eric Young, and Jonathan Gresham. In other results, Mike Santana defeated Casey Navarro, Joe Hendry topped Brian Nemeth, Rosemary went over Jada Stone, and the Rascals beat Jake Crist and Alan Angels in the opener. And finally, Ring of Honor also streamed last night on Honor Club, featuring matches taped on Wednesday in Bridgeport and on November 7th in Providence, Rhode Island. In the main event, Red Velvet retained the ROH World Women's TV title against Diamante in a street fight. Athena retained the ROH World Women's Championship against Layla Gray, and New Japan Strong Openweight Champion Gabe Kidd retained against Angelico. In a four-way tag team match, the Undisputed Kingdom came out victorious over the Gates of Agony, grizzled young veterans in the Dark Order. In other selected results, Commander beat Josh Woods, Shane Taylor Promotions top Beef and J.D. Drake, Abaddon went over Viva Van, and Katsuyori Shibata beat Aaron Solo. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, Follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.